Hey y'all, it's me Ryan here. Uh, stop me if you've heard this one before. Alright, so let's say you're invited up to Frostbrook State University to go watch one of your friend's jazz performances, and then on the, along the way, you see this cool game store, and you walk inside and you see they have a Game Boy for sale, and then you're like, okay, this is kind of cool, I kind of want to buy this. So then you go up to the counter, and you ask the guy, hey, does this Game Boy work? And the guy says, yep, we test everything. So then you buy the Game Boy because the guy's like, oh, it works, yeah, it's fine. It was a bit dirty, but that's okay. So then you buy the Game Boy, you come back home, you test the Game Boy, and the speakers are trash. They're like, or whatever, I don't know how to make the noise, but they're trash. You can't obviously return the Game Boy because it's in Frostburg, it's far away. So then in your sadness, you go on eBay and you look up Game Boys for sale, and you see this good Game Boy that is $90. Okay, so then the guy offers you 85, so then you're like, okay, sold, buy that thing, it arrives, and guess what? The speakers are fine, but the screen has a line in it, and you're like, oh, come on, man. And on top of the line in the screen, the start and select buttons are a bit hard to press, so that's also on the list. So you ask for the guy for a refund, you're like, hey, man, can I get a refund, a full refund for this Game Boy? He says no, so then... You're like, come on, man, this is not cool. Give me a refund for this Game Boy. He's like, okay, I can maybe give you $10. Just send me a picture of the line on the screen. So you try to do this. You try to send him a line of the, or you try to send him a picture of the line on the screen. And the line is mentally gone. The line has disappeared from the Game Boy. And I told him, okay, dude, look, the line is like disappeared. I cannot get it to come back. And he says, well, I guess it's fine then. So then I was stuck with the Game Boy for a little bit. Uh, I was like, oh man. You really scammed me out of my money because this Game Boy also it kind of sucks. But then, a few weeks later, as I'm cleaning my room, I get the Game Boy back out. I turn it on. The line is back, baby. The line is good. So I send him a picture. He responds to me saying, did you try adjusting the contrast wheel? I said, I did. The line is still there. So then he says, okay, I guess I can give you $20. I say, I'm sold. I take the 20 bucks and I have a... Let's see, I have a $130 loss on both Game Boys. <sighs> okay. So you might be asking yourself, what are you supposed to do with the two Game Boys? But don't worry, I have thought of that long and hard and I have a list. You can use them as a unit of measurement. Keep going down the rabbit hole and buy more Game Boys until you're broke. You could be so sad that you buy a Nintendo Switch and use the Game Boy Online app as a replacement Game Boy. Look up videos of functioning Game Boys to see what you're missing out on. Use it as a paperweight. Try to resell a Game Boy, but become undecided about which one to sell. Think about making a Frankenstein Game Boy with a combination of both working parts. Use it as a white noise machine. Use it to play a game for more than three minutes. Wait. Maybe you just shouldn't buy a Game Boy. I gotta say, after buying two Game Boys, I really don't see the appeal. Now what do I mean when I say I don't get the appeal of the Game Boy? Yes, it's an iconic device in Nintendo's history, or in like history in general to be honest. It's just one of those cool things, it's like, oh it's a Game Boy. In 2023, do you really need a Game Boy? I thought I did, and look at me, I'm miserable. Also, okay, answer me this. Do you, do you really want to play a Game Boy game right now? Be honest with me. Is there a Game Boy game you want to play, other than like Tetris or something? I don't think there is. To be honest with you, I don't think there is a Game Boy game you want to play that bad. There's no, like, point to using the Game Boy if there's better ways to play the games. And what I mean by that is, like, you could, like, use the Switch Online app, like I mentioned earlier. You could also do other risky methods that I'm not going to mention here. But there are other ways to play these games other than just buying the original hardware. And are most of those games worth replaying? Be honest with me. Are most of them worth replaying? And maybe, sure, like, the Pokemon Reds of the world are worth replaying, but... Most other things are probably not. Like, probably just more shovelware that was sent onto the Game Boy because it was popular at the time. There's no point to me to have the Game Boy to play these games. I thought it'd be fun to play Tetris on the original Game Boy. Like, here I have... I have the, uh... I bought this. As soon as I bought this Game Boy, this is the crappy, non-functioning one with the weird speaker. I bought this on eBay. It's the root of all my problems, is eBay. But I bought this on eBay. It's the original Tetris. Boom, look at that. It's so cool. Uh... I wanted to play it on the original hardware for the Game Boy because I was like, oh, that'd be kind of fun because I was in my Tetris funk, as you might remember. 
puzzle. Unless it's something like Tetris. I like Tetris a lot. Tetris is a really fun game. You know, I've been playing Tetris Effect Connected some. I've been playing it on my phone. You know, I've been playing it on the Switch. Like, oh, it's the original Game Boy version. But wouldn't it be cool to play it on the Game Boy? No. So, if you're listening to me right now, don't buy a Game Boy. It's not a good idea. And even if you do buy a Game Boy, there's so many better ones like the Color or the Advance that are just so much cooler and better. So don't buy the original one. It's just kind of... It's just kind of old at this point. But yeah, if you're ever in Frostburg, Maryland, and you ever want to go to a retro game store, don't. It's not worth it. Because <laughs> they don't test everything, obviously, or else the speakers would actually be working. I hope this was interesting. Maybe it wasn't, I don't really know. But don't buy Game Boys, that's all I'm trying to say. Don't buy Game Boys. That's all. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.